Hello there and welcome to this easter egg video. This is where we're going to show you proof that zombies are already in Warzone and where you can find them yourself. So for the start of this easter egg we are going to have to run through some things that you need to know in order to discover the zombies in Call of Duty's Warzone. Now we do recommend that you try this a few times in Plunder to be able to learn the locations of certain elements before you go to Warzone as this will make it a lot easier. As many of you probably know, zombies have been a major part of Call of Duty for over the last 10 years going right back to World at War with the original Nazi zombies. This then developed further and further and pushed our imagination to places we never wanted to see it go. One thing that has stood out to many gamers throughout all of Call of Duty series and more specifically in Zombies is the irregular appearance of the teddy bears. Now if you have already played Warzone quite a bit you have probably found some of these teddy bears littered around the map. Most of them are easy to find and you'll stumble across them when you play the game naturally, whereas some of them are slightly more elusive which we'll get to later on in this video. But what many don't know is there are only 11 teddy bears in the map of Verdansk. Why 11 you ask? Well this brings us to the next part of the easter egg. Scattered across the Russian terrain of Verdansk you may also find bunkers, 11 to be precise, all containing vast amounts of loot and also a blueprint in none other than Bunker 11. The process to enter these can be as simple as stumbling across an access card in a loot crate or it might involve sending you across the map far and wide, answering phone calls and even translating Russian code. Luckily for this easter egg we only need to follow three steps and before you carry on please bear in mind that so far as we know this only works in Warzone and not Plunder. Our guess why would be due to the fact that Zombies in Plunder doesn't make a lot of sense compared to Warzone but let's carry on with the video. Step number one. Firstly to be able to do this easter egg you are going to need to learn the location of a teddy bear. So if we take a look at this map, we can see that there are indeed 11 bunkers as well as 11 teddy bears. Now when we had our first look at the map, we wanted to find out what was standing out to us. Is one of them in a weird location? Is one of them protesting against Donald Trump? Are you protesting Donald Trump? Yes! No, but we knew there had to be a reason they were put into the game and they had to be linked to the 11 bunkers due to the amount of them. After looking at the map for quite a while, we all started to notice that the one thing that stood out to us about the teddy bears is that one of them is quite far away from all of the others, almost as if it sat out on its own. We immediately went and launched our search in the area of the quarry for the bear and found it to be at the top of the large tower. Now when we got there there was nothing particularly special about this teddy bear but we did have a theory of our own that we wanted to try out. Our theory was based on a older and more previous easter egg in one of the very first zombie maps called Darice. This easter egg involved getting a pack a punch weapon and finding a button on the outside of the map which when shot with the pack a punch weapon would activate the teddy bear easter egg. This then involved shooting a further three teddy bears where each time you would shoot them you would hear this. I want to Now in Warzone you obviously can't get a pack punch weapon but the equivalent in our eyes was to get a gun from a loadout drop. We are basing this on the fact that the two most expensive things in Warzone and Zombies is the pack a punch machine and the loadout drop. Each time when you spend your money on these particular things you trade your weapons in and you get an upgraded one in return. Once we had raised enough money for a loadout drop, we then headed back to the bear and we took in a breath as we decided to try out our theory. That come from the prison, that? Did you hear that? I think it did. 
So as you just heard, as we shot the bear, you heard an immediate howl, followed by a sound effect from the zombie game. Now immediately when we heard this sound, we knew where it was coming from due to the panning in the headset, and we looked straight towards the prison. This was where we then decided to go. Step 2. Soon as we heard this sound effect, we were excited beyond belief. We couldn't wait to head over to the prison and find out what was waiting for us. Once we had arrived at the prison, we didn't actually know what we were looking for, all we knew is that it was here. After searching for hours, we were ready to give up, and we thought that this was another cold trail given to us by the COD developers, and it wasn't until we looked at the map that we realised we had missed something massive, and that was that there was another teddy bear at the prison. After a quick search on the internet, we knew where to go to find this teddy bear and we set off to find it, but this one was slightly different. This one wasn't chilling on a roof, it was in a dark locker, in the lower parts of a prison, as if it had tried to find somewhere to hide from other players, as if it didn't want to be found. We knew that this was the reason we were here. So as you just heard, after we shot the bear, you heard the sound of the alarm on the bunker doors open. Step number three. As we arrived happening. at the bunker, we immediately noticed that the doors were open and it had not been looted. There were no dead bodies, so we presumed that the shooting of the bears must have opened the bunker, which is what the noise was when we shot the bear in the prison. Just like when we arrived at the prison, we didn't know what we were looking for. We searched the bunker from top to bottom, but we still found nothing out of the ordinary. It was devastating. We didn't know what to do and we had come so far. But we had one last theory that we were willing to try. Since we had started playing the game, we had always wondered why the barrier was gas, but we never thought to link it to the most obvious and only other time green killing gas had been involved in Call of Duty. The gas that I'm referring to is Nova 6. In 2010, Black Ops 1 hit the shelves with a new style of multiplayer, an amazing campaign, and also three new zombie maps. As well as the new zombie maps, they had also added a new type of zombie based on the gas that featured in the campaign. This was the Nova 6 zombie. Now, as you probably know, Modern Warfare isn't Black Ops. They are made by different game developers. However, there is no denying that the two different forms of gas are extremely identical. As the gas began to approach, we didn't have anything else we could do. We had come so far, but we couldn't do any more. This is when I decided to stay in the bunker as the gas approached. My team left me, and this is what happened. Just to let you know guys, this is a really hard easter egg to do. This took us over 10 hours and we were constantly getting stopped by gamers opening the vaults, killing us or just generally getting in the way and it cancelled the possibility of this easter egg happening. So keep trying and you will get there and if not, just enjoy the video. If you could click that like button and the subscribe button, that would be amazing so we can keep getting that content out for you. See you later.